Demo's up. And Demo we're ready. back. Sinister Train Zero One with more Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Cold Soldier. Park. Three. This All was right, definitely right. fun right here. There's a quite a quite a bit of enemies up ahead here. I think there's a total of Add maybe six, something like that. Definitely recommend throwing a sensor grenade out there. That way you can see where all the enemies are. Now, again, this is all about how you place your four enemies. If you place the four enemies so that other enemies are around the one that you shoot, you're able to take everybody out without, you know, setting a huge alert. But pretty much, it doesn't matter what you do here. As soon as you kill all the guys right here, you're automatically alerted on the other side of the ship where your actual objective to get is. So let's see if this works. Target down. All right, so obviously we're already going to be engaged because there's uh, snipers on the other side. So now we just need to take these guys out. I would definitely recommend you not doing it yourself. I obviously can't do it because there's no way I'd even be able to see them if I zoomed in with my magnetic scope. And I almost got my head blown off right there. So just mark your enemies so that the enemies can take them out for you. The AI in this game is great, especially with your ghosts. Sometimes it can be a little finicky, but it works more for you than against, so use them when you have the opportunity. Now, I remember seeing that there was an, uh, a weapons crate over here. I really haven't used too many of the weapons crate during the missions and stuff like that, but um, I think I need to change up and get a little something different. But I looked at my assault rifle, and I saw that the only other one that it gives me is the same weapon that I already have. So, I'm like, eh, I'm not even going to do it. I'm just going to keep the same loadout that I have right now. Again, nothing you can do, you're automatically going to be fighting these guys. Use your AI as much as you can. They're just in reach to where I can barely see the outline of the guy, but he's still far enough away to where I couldn't get a good shot on him. That's why I recommend not using the magnetic scope for this mission. You can't even really see that guy up ahead. So it definitely can get a little frustrating. They're on the move. <laughs> and this stupid little We're marker was in my way, and I wasn't able to get a beat on the guy because he kept disappearing because of the blue triangle. Right there. Get fired on. Roger. Roger. Contact out ahead. We don't turn this now. We're toast. So as you can see, your night vision goggles is still just as good to be able to mark enemies as using your scope. Definitely do not recommend getting up against this cover. I don't know why I did, because it's so easily to shoot someone's feet. I mean, I do it all the time, and you'll see it up ahead, that enemies that are behind this type of cover are very easy to pick off. But I just assumed that uh, I would be okay, and luckily I was. But I don't recommend doing that as well. Smoke them. Reloading. So obviously, obviously, since I didn't get the tactical challenge at the very end, then I'm probably not going to pick up the achievement because I don't want to play the whole 50-minute mission again just to get that one tactical challenge. So I'll still get as many as I can, and my goal is still to get the rest from now on. Hopefully, it'll it'll end up being that way. But here, I finally decide that you know what I think it's time to switch, change to a sniper. I'll keep the assault rifle, but I'll go ahead and change out the SMG that I got and go with a sniper rifle. Lots and lots of enemies up ahead, so definitely recommend using a long distance rifle. Now, the enemies are going to be coming from straight ahead, left, and right. Now, luckily, these guys just make it so easy to pick them off without even uh, scoping. 
But since this is on Elite, I mean, I believe from what I've heard from other people that if you're playing on any other difficulty, you can be down and your teammates can actually get you back up. But on Elite, if you're down, the game is over. There is no getting back up. Which definitely makes it a lot more difficult. Because you only take about one or two shots and you're dead. As you can see, I can actually kill these guys behind that same cover. So I, that's why I said no, I recommend pretty much not using that cover for yourself. But the only thing that's up ahead here is pretty much just shooting, having fun, getting some sniper in. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up. And uh, this was definitely also a good place to do the assault weapon challenge, which is kill enemies in a row very fast. But since my assault rifle had the magnetic view, I said there was just no way I was going to complete that if I can't even see the enemy. So uh, just enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll be talking soon. Alright, so that part was actually quite fun. And now it is actually time to extract. However, as you can see, since, you know, I've completed all of the tactical challenges so far, there's still that last one left, that, that SOB that just makes me want to tear some shit because I'm not a perfectionist, but I like to complete things that they just make a challenge. I like the challenges. I like to step up to the challenge and complete it. And I was very upset. And, uh, I know I keep saying that, but you'll see. Listen up, Ghost. Once we're in the air, I'm not sure what we're going to be dealing with. Oh, I'm shocked. We've had such clear directives so far. Oh, it'll be right up your alley, Dirty. Lots of targets, no hesitation. Oh, well, all right then. <laughs> Still, we're not out of the woods yet. Keep your head screwed on, be smart about your targets. What about the ship? If we don't take care of those reinforcements first, it might not matter. Those weren't the reinforcements? We'll see. Keep the LZ secure! Overlord, Hunter's at the helipad! Copy that, Hunter. Your right's inbound. I have no idea why they no, no, even go. place a Too weapon much. crate Let's there go. because <laughs> you're about ready to get in a chopper and not even use it, so... That just did not make any sense to me. But here we go. It is time for the infamous chopper ride. What's the status of that second ship? 
Our whiz kids were able to lock down the control system remotely, so it's safe from any tampering. Hostiles are converging on the ship, though, in force. They could still do serious damage. We're in route. Spin it up, boys. Let's see what we can do from the air. Alright, so I'm taking a look to see it is time for that chopper ride challenge. So here we go. I pretty much I try to shoot every single enemy vehicle that there is. But you also have to shoot the ones that are not even on. Anything that can be destroyed, you pretty much have to destroy. Now there's these uh, enemy vehicles here that are to the left that we weren't able to shoot. But you'll actually be able to shoot those guys very soon, so you really don't have to worry too much about them. So far I've taken out every enemy vehicle that has been in my sight, except for the ones that are on the far left. Targets are playing! Alright, Dirty. This is the time I tell you to cut loose. Target it is our objective to take out the vehicles on the ground. It is the other guy's objective, or should I say the other helicopter. Now this thing up here. I have no idea what it is, it's just a, to me, it's just a dot. I'm shooting at it, it goes away, I'm thinking, okay, it completed. But what I'm thinking is, that was the one that I could have missed, that made it to where I wasn't able to get the tactical challenge. I keep checking to see if there, maybe it said I couldn't get it anymore. But so I keep going on thinking I'm, I'm pretty good so far. But if it's an enemy vehicle and I uh, and it's moving, I'm shooting at it. I mean, even when they're not moving, I still shoot at these vehicles here. Now I don't see any other vehicles over. You know, I'm not sure if the one that I had missed earlier was that one. Doesn't say that I failed the uh, challenge already, but we do have this last guy here come sneaks up out of nowhere. But see what happens is once you get to this point right here. And you'll not even know because the tactical challenge doesn't come up until the very end of it. So you won't really know if you have shot every enemy vehicle. But there's a save spot here. So it kind of ruins everything. You can't go back and try to complete it if you missed one. Because let's say if you you don't receive it here. And see I tried this. I actually, uh, I actually did this part, completed it, didn't see the tactical challenge come up. So I restarted the checkpoint. And the checkpoint brought me right back in here, so there was no way to go back and complete the enemy vehicle challenge. And I wasn't going to go over and do it for another 50 minutes. So, I mean, it's just something that just wasn't in the plans, you know, wasn't in the cards. You can't win them all. It was frustrating, but, you know, this, this game is super fun. And the fact that it actually makes me care to want to complete the challenges is... You know, a we good thing about the game. The of the ship. Looks like they're planning charges. Understood, Overlord. We're on it. We gotta take them down before they set off those charges. Very hard to aim with a uh, helicopter moving around. I'm telling you that right now. Not easy at all. But see, right there is actually where the tactical challenge would complete. But once I saw that, I was like, mother, holy shit. Overlord, this is Hunter. The ship's secure. We're done here. Overlord copies. Good work, Hunter. You're clear to extract. Alright, so as you can see, I got a 82 out of 100. I don't know if it's even possible to get a 100 out of 100 on this level. Uh, after I completed the game, I looked at other YouTube videos to see if they actually had the same problem that I did, and, and nobody that I've seen so far was able to get a 100 out of 100. So I improved a lot of my weapon juice, but I was not able to complete that challenge, and yes, I was very pissed off. But you know what? It happens. So I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Sorry I wasn't able to get that challenge for you, but uh, definitely plan on getting all the further challenges from here on out, and we'll see you on the next one.